Hey guys, I'm back with another simple tutorial showing you how to take this and turn it into a new color palette in Procreate. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is make sure that you have whatever photo you wanna turn into a color palette already saved onto your iPad. So I've already got my image that I'm gonna be using, which is this watercolor, and that's what I'm gonna be using to create my color palette with. So start by opening up Procreate, and I'm just gonna go into a, a blank document. And then up in the upper right-hand corner where your color uh, wheel is, you wanna click on that and make sure you're under the palettes option. So um, I think default, you come up with uh, the disc option, but you'll wanna be under palettes. And then you'll click this little plus sign in the upper right-hand corner and you can choose, um, there's a couple different options here. So you could actually choose new from camera and you could take a picture, but we're actually gonna do this new from photos. And then I'm gonna come into my um, camera roll and I'm just gonna find the photo that I wanted to use, which is this one, because it's already been edited. All right, so then after you've selected it, it'll actually populate up at the top here and it'll say palette from image. So you could actually um, rename this anything that you want. So I'm gonna rename this watercolor sunset. Sunset. And see it's pulled all of the um, different colors from the photo. So that is the easiest way to create a color scheme or a new color palette in Procreate. Um, I'm gonna make this my default. And then I can come over here to the disc if I need to, um, the classic view, um, and all of you can see it all in all of the different options. I actually just like to stay on the disc view because it shows the history as well of um, the colors that I've chosen. I mean, that's it. You can't get any more simple than than that, taking a photo and making a, a color palette out of it. It's so much easier than typing in all the hex codes or um, putting a picture in here and using the color picker tool and all of that. This is so simple. If you like this video or found it helpful, make sure you give it a thumbs up and make sure you hit the little subscribe button so that you know whenever I post a new video or tutorial. And you can also find me on Instagram at by Amanda K. And if you want to see how I painted this lovely watercolor sunset, you can find that on my IGTV videos. So that's it for today. I'll see you guys next time.